Many times on Expedition Texas, the places we tour have some sort of fame among the neighbors in the community where they reside, or some sort of statewide fame, or in some instances, famous worldwide. But sometimes the location appears to be a truly lost piece of history. That is, unless you know who to talk to. In Breckenridge, Texas, everyone of a certain age has some sort of personal memory of this building, the old YMCA at Breckenridge. This old building has a story to tell, and this week, we're going to find it. Texas is full of lost history. From lost cemeteries to abandoned buildings. From the infamous to the obscure. Hitch a ride and travel across the Lone Star State, looking for hints of Texas' colorful past. Our lost history. This is Expedition Texas, and we're gonna find it. memory is coming as a teenager and uh, dancing all night with the other teenagers and the last song would play and, and I remember that song. This room where right now we had story hour. This was the library when I was growing up. We took swimming lessons in the back. Of course the basketball court and uh, a lot, lot of things for them to do. One of the things that's easy to forget when exploring old buildings is that so many memories are wrapped up in the place. For lifelong residents, these places are more than just wood and brick. For a younger generation who cares about their community's history though, a building like the Breckenridge YMCA makes a pretty good project. For students Axel Puebla and McKinley Roberts, saving the old YMCA was a focus of their efforts to give back. First we had to like get permission to even like step foot, like McKinley said, and we also had to like get approved by the city to, uh, to even work on this project. So we had to go and take, like, go to a city council meeting and get on the board and that took like a month before to even like partake and it's like it gave us an insight on like adult life. I want a big meeting room, a place where the, the whole community can come and meet if need be, where we can have presentations, that thing, you know, that sort of thing. Um, also media room that we can, that is full with projectors and free Wi-Fi and just appliances for kids in our community that don't have that at home. Young people with a vision for breathing new life into a historic building in downtown Breckenridge. Mayor Bob Sims explains what all it's going to take. The building's got to have a new roof. Before anything else can be done, it's got to have a new roof. And I know they have people that have looked at it uh, in the past, I had people come, two different contractors years ago, look at the swimming pool, but still it goes back to the roof. And it's just, without that, there's no need doing a thing more to the building. With that, we take a trip to Breckenridge, Texas to explore the now dormant YMCA building to see where so many memories were made. Hey, Mayor, how's it going, sir? Fine, nice to see you, sir. All right, Bob Sims, Mayor of Breckenridge, Texas, and yes, we're sir. here at the old YMCA building. We are. Right on the front steps where so many kids and men would walk up and come and enjoy this place, families over the years. Tell me kind of, when, when did this place come into existence? It was, uh, it opened up about 1926, October. And it's 95 years old. Wow. It's, it's still from outside a very strong, good building. And uh, there's no telling how many people have used it over the decades. I understand there's like a gym in here. There is, uh, yeah. Swimming pool. Swimming pool, basketball court. Oh, wow. Uh, the uh, uh, second floor is, is a large room for meetings. And uh, so, yeah, it was it was a number one in its time for this, the state of Texas. And so, Ridge. sounds really nice. Is there any way we could go in and see kind of what remains here? We can see everything you want to see, All Bob. right, following you, sir. All right, come on in here. This is, this is the gym, and uh, it's, uh, it was used probably as much as anything, as much as the pool was during its, its day. Mm. 
We're in Breckenridge, Texas, in what appears to be a large abandoned building sitting on Walker Street. It was once the Breckenridge YMCA. Long ago, the YMCA ceased operations. The building spent decades out of use. Recently, though, some students began to clean up the lower floor of the building before graduating and leaving the restoration to future generations. Whether that restoration will ever be completed remains to be seen. For now, we're entering the building with Breckenridge Mayor Bob Sims to see what remains of the Breckenridge YMCA. This is the main room, of course, and we have an office back there. Uh, anybody that would come in to use the gym, to use whatever, would sign in here, the best I was told. Okay. When, when we took it over way down the line, this was not even used at all. But uh, this, this was where people did their checking in and then they went to wherever they, they were going. Uh, this big room right here in 1926 become the library. Really? Yes, sir. It's about a year after the building opened. And they used, this was the only library in town until they built the new one, which is, is downtown. Now, fast forward to where we took it over way, way later. This is where we did our workouts for our powerlifting. This was really? the powerlifting gym. And we spent, I spent many hours, weeks, and months powerlifting down here, going to powerlifting meets. I was a member of the different federations, uh, World Police Games, I went to those. Wow. Uh, I hold, still hold a number of world records in powerlifting today. You do? Can yes, you sir. bench press me? Uh, not today. <laughs> you have to give me a little while. Okay. But, but this, was, this was our main workout area. Wow. So from a library to a weight gym. Yes, sir. Wow. Years and years later, of course. Wow. And yeah. so I guess uh, right now, I mean, this is just a big open room. Could it's be just used a big open just room. Just about anything. I know that in past, way past years, Lions Club, they used to come down here and have meetings and okay. eat up here and on the second floor also. What's uh, off in here? When, it was, when we had it as a team center, this was a TV room. Oh, TV okay. TV center, couch and chair. Wow. Uh, but what we, what we had to do, we knocked this wall out to let kids come and go. We covered that one up because that would get a little too cozy if you didn't keep an eye on it. <laughs> so, but there was a couple of couches and chairs and, and TV. Okay. So All right. it doesn't look out like it today, but, but that's where, where we were on it. Gotta watch those kids getting too cozy, I guess. Yeah, even, cozy. My, even my boys. <laughs> Way back there. Okay. Way back there. But yeah, that's, that's the main purpose of this room, was that it was a library for years and years. This was our cardio room. Uh, this wall was not here. This was a bigger room from the outside. But on the second floor, we took a wall out and had the clients out at the prison bring it down and set it up for us. We had walkers, steppers, treadmills, TV. Wow. It just kind of separated from everybody lifting weights on one end and wanting to but kind of have a little bit more private place. Now, look up here, guys. You can see uh, there is a drop-in ceiling, but yes. part of it's missing. I guess that's the original ceiling right there. I'm, I'm sure it is. 1922 yes, with the paint yeah. and all. Yeah. Uh, there's been a lot of changes made over, yeah. over the years. Well, what's really neat about this room is you have a big old fireplace in here. Well, gas fireplace. Gas yes. fireplace there. Yeah. We had one in, in the main room. Uh, if, if you notice, there's no central air and heating back in the right. 20s. Yeah. And that stayed the same up till today, still yeah. like it was. This is, this is the gym. Oh, wow. And, uh, it's, uh, it was used probably as much as anything, as much as the pool was during its, its day. Now, we have the goals were, were taken down. They were kind of seeing the better days. Yeah. Uh, and like I said, time, all it needs is money. Yep. That's all. So you have a big gym here, but I also understand there was a big pool yes, yes. here as well. Can yes. you show me that? I should be sure well. All right. This gym was, it was 40 foot wide and 60 foot long. So it, for its day, it was a huge gym. Yeah. Very, very and and gym. was the pool as big as this? Oh, uh, pool was a lot bigger than this. Really? Oh, yes, wow. So Let's check that out. out here down the hallway, and uh, I'll show you that. You're watching. Expedition Texas.
We're in Breckenridge, Texas, a small town that once was an oil boom town. When things are booming, big buildings tend to be built, such is the case with this 1922 YMCA building, which we're touring with Breckenridge Mayor Bob Sims. Okay. Come on down here and I will take you to the pool. Um, there we go. These are dressing rooms back in there for the girls and the boys and the men. Okay, right. well I want to take a look at those in a minute for okay. sure, but first let's check out this pool. I'm curious okay. about that. Alright, well you'll have to be ready for an experience, but come on in here and I'll show you the pool. Wow, the nobody's going for a swim in here anytime nope, soon. Nobody's anytime soon. The, uh, as you can tell, there's been a lot of leaks in the roof and it's settled in. Uh, my understanding is this was is or was an Olympic sized pool. In its day, it had a number one filtration system that uh, down in the basement, once every 24 hours, the total volume of the water would be run through and cleaned and you know. Really? It was really kept up good. And it's just like anything else, it's just old. Did you guys operate the pool at all? No, no sir. When we took this over as a team center, uh, the pool had been shut down. It was heated for, and that oh. was something to say in those wow. days. And I was told by one of the board members years back that, the, that the, uh, the heating bill was costing so much and the upkeep that they had to shut it down. Oh my gosh. And uh, uh, I've had two contractors over the years look at it and it's like everything else, it can be fixed and put back if you got the money to do it. It's just about that money. It's just about yeah. the money. That, that money keeps coming up, <laughs> everything that we've talked about. But, but you've got two lanes here all the way down, so a big yeah. Olympic-sized pool, people can get their laps in yeah. out here. My wife learned to swim here, her brother, and most people, most way back, wow. you know, way, way back. So, uh, it's, uh... And, uh, what? Look, well, you got a collection of old hats here. Yeah, that's one of my DPS hats as, as a trooper. Yeah, so you, you, you were highway patrol for how long? 36 years. Wow. Right, every, every day was right here in that's Stevens cool. County. You see a man come walking up wearing this hat, you're probably getting a ticket. Yeah, well, <laughs> it, it, it's happened. It's happened. It's, happened. it's happened a few times. Come up here, kind of watch your steps to go to the second floor. And as you can see, you can tell what the water damage has done over, over the years. Uh, that's where he's taking his toll. Well, you know, uh, it looks like there's been some definite cleanup downstairs. Yes. Oh, and, most assuredly, yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, but upstairs, uh, upstairs, probably hadn't got to that yet. Yeah, it, it, uh, up, upstairs hadn't been touched that I know of. And I, I don't know when. It's just been many, many years. This is, oh. of course, the second floor. And uh, this is where a lot of uh, Taekwondo and Judo kids that did classes, yeah. they had it up, up here. And uh, at one time, even our social clubs would meet up here. You know, really? Tables and chairs, yeah. There was a kitchen. There okay. was a full full kitchen back there. And of course, another gas and fireplace. Yeah. But uh, now, this, there, the wall you saw downstairs going into the aerobic room. Yes. It used to be right across here. Oh. This is, yes, sir. This this was was divided, and we had the clients take this out. They moved it, carried it down the steps, and put it back up down there. Wow. So it's made this room a lot bigger for people that were using it for different things. Yeah. So we have original hardwood floor maybe here. Hard. Yes, sir. All right. So is this second floor how you would get out to that balcony over the gymnasium? It's right out here. Okay. All right. I was, I was, le I came and explored it earlier. I thought yeah, that was yeah, where we were going. I, I'm sitting here <laughs> thinking ahead of myself. Coming with me here, I'll make a note of something for you again. There, they used to have projectors in there that they would show movies whenever. Really? But the neat thing about this, if you'll notice, this is all tin. It's covered in tin. That's because of the possibility of fire with the flimsy film. It film oh. back in those days was very flammable. So they, uh, Put, put tin in that. Really? And the uh, projectors, one of the other both are covered now, but that's where they would show it through. Right, yeah. And somewhere they would set a, a, a screen or maybe even a sheet back then. But this was used, people would come up here and watch volleyball games, basketball games. Wow. Just, just whatever they wanted to sit and play. Some old that might be some good soap still, who knows? Might be. I, I bet you if you got it wet, you could soap up your hands pretty, pretty good. Might work up a ladder.
We're touring the old 1922 YMCA building in Breckenridge, Texas. We've seen so much already, but now we're headed to the third floor with Mayor Bob Sims. So Bob, what was the purpose of all these rooms up here? They were where people could rent them on a daily or weekly basis when they worked, and just, just a place to stay. There are 16 rooms, and uh, you pay as little as three or four dollars a night for them. You might get a better offer if you took them for a week, I don't recall. Yeah. <coughs> but uh, they were all furnished, not much in there. They're not too big. Really? Yes, sir. And of course, they're all numbered. Oh, you're not kidding. This is not yeah. very big yeah. at all. Yeah, very, very small. Wow, but so we have like a, a, an old light switch yes, here? Sir. Yes, sir. And they had some shelves in here, I guess. What was the bell for? Uh, That's a button. Maybe there. that was for bed or room service. I room service. It, yeah, I doubt I, it. I don't, I don't know really what that was for. You barely get a room here, much less room service. Yeah, that's, <laughs> this is true. You're and right. Got the old transoms here. I guess that's how they would circulate air yeah, through the. Yeah, it does. Because the, as we've said before, this Y had no air conditioning or right. heating yeah. at all. And uh, uh, it just it is it is what it is today. Yeah. The, oh wow! Uh, Looky here. Yeah, they had a. I think in past years we had a church or two that I might have used this at a little bit of time. You know. Oh, okay. Kids. Yeah. I don't even know about that, but little, I was told with that little, someone would would hold a prayer service. Yeah, here. little and that kids may be here. Totally out of bounds right only, now. Only I one, right in the know. right in the middle of the room there. Right in the middle of the room. Just yes, a, sir. Just a little scary. This uh, this was a shared shower bathroom for everybody. Shared like shared, the yeah, men right and here. ladies. No, no, I think no. Oh, okay. We won't go that far. Away. <laughs> but, uh, I was about uh, to say, man, things were yes, way different back then. Ever, I'm not sure what that was unless it was a refrigerated unit or something. Yeah. It's just one of those items that's been here. Yeah. And uh, you don't, you know. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Wow, there's nothing alive in nothing there. Alive, so I'm not, so, you know, yeah. that's, that's hmm. anybody's guess. Yeah. That's... But, but this... This was the place. What yeah. can I say? I mean, so, my goodness. Yeah. It, uh, sinks and sinks and everything. Toilets and urinals and then uh, a nest of some sort. Or something, yes, sir. Yeah. Then, then the shower. Oh wow! Look at here. Uh, it, it, uh, you got the the capped uh, showers yeah, got, here. Oh, capped off. Uh, some, some old. That might be soap. some good soap still. Who knows? Yeah. Might be. I, I bet you if you got it wet, you could soap up your hands pretty pretty good. You might work up a lather. You might work up a lather. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes. So first floor, we had kind of check-in, a uh, gym, weightlifting area, the pool, the basketball goal. Yes, and sir. second floor, activities, activities, things like that. meetings, get-togethers. And third floor, half of it rooms to stay in kind of yeah. like this one yeah. big, uh, meeting area day room day out room there for everybody and yes, uh, there's no fourth floor so i guess we kind of no. made the whole trip right no. well we well we got one floor left we got a basement uh oh really a, a dark old creepy basement all the way to the basement yeah well yeah. mayor that sounds like my kind of place well, we'll we'll head down that way and right. i will show it to let's you let's go see that yes sir just watch your step everything there is oh uh, i I have made more trips in and out of this basement than I can even count, and probably most of the time it was the middle of the night. The stairs are a little wobbly there, stairs man. Stairs are a little wobbly right yeah. there. Yes, sir, they are. Are they even attached to anything? Yeah. Sir? Are they attached to anything there? Well, they might have been at one time. <laughs> I'm more concerned about now. There you go. <laughs> oh, shine your light over here. What are all these? These are all the main water mains for the whole building from top to bottom. Oh, wow. And uh, as you can see, you probably wouldn't want to turn them on too much if you no. didn't have to. Dang, what's this hole it? in the wall here? This was a furnace for our, or, you know, for burning, actually. You see it goes right up there, and it goes right on out to the roof. I don't know uh, if it's closed up. It's just one of these items that have not been used in decades. The entire building hasn't been used in decades, but there are residents of Breckenridge, Texas who would love to see the old YMCA in use again. The cleanup of the bottom floor by local high school students was proof positive that there's an enduring love for the old structure and a respect for all the memories it holds. Down the road, there's another lost legend waiting to be discovered, and on Expedition Texas, we're going to find it.